Now I have been uh, playing with the menu or status bar on top. So of course uh, this uh, will show you few things like uh, the current playing song and the RAM, available RAM and the uh, used RAM along with uh, the brightness. This is of course in my case and uh, uh, I'm also showing the battery percentage along with the temperature right now and uh, I am also showing the time. So I have talked about this in the past like how to do it using uh, Xset root and uh, it is of course very simple to change the uh, status bar if you want to. It is uh, as simple as uh, typing one uh, command and uh, the file that I have been using is uh, uh, this one, the shell script and this shell script is of course uh, running continuously so whenever I start my uh, I, mean, I mean whenever I start my window manager I of course have this uh, file running in loop and I have showed I've, I've shown this in the past how to do it I use Xfinite RC which I believe uh, is simple and easy way to manage these things now talking about the uh, talking about the icons uh, so the, the, the main thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, the uh, icon that I wanted to show I was trying and playing with the different uh, em emoticons and emojis but uh, it is I believe a common problem and a known issue that you have to figure out yourself and you have to spend some time to install the right app not app but the right uh, application that will bring in those uh, fonts so apart from installing the fonts which is an, in fact a very simple thing to do but you also have to I believe uh, patch or mo make changes to your uh, to your DWM or D DM, uh, not DM, DWM and D menu uh, files, and you have to build it again. But I was able to use a font which is uh, very simple and it works uh, nice. So if you if you want, you can install uh, Font Awesome. So let me show you how to install it. So you can try. Uh, let me just get rid of this. And uh, if you want, you can install uh, TTF hyphen font hyphen awesome this is uh, a collection of different uh, different icons that you can uh, use and uh, I already have it installed so I'll uh, not install it but in, in case you want to use uh, some of these uh, uh, in your uh, some of these uh, these very nice small icons uh, in your D menu or maybe in your terminal I guess it will work you can use these uh, uh, the, these icons that you can find in the uh, fontawesome.com slash v5 slash cheat sheet. So for example, if you want to use something like uh, uh, maybe temperature, let us find something for temperature. Do we have something for temperature? So temperature high, temperature low. So you can copy the icon and uh, if you maybe go to your, your terminal and if you try to echo it, it should work and of course it is uh, not really uh, a proper colored emojis emoticons but it looks all right i think i mean it is still uh, uh, it is still better than nothing and i'm i'm actually quite happy with that i was tr ho trying to patch and modify the files of uh, uh, of dwm and uh, d menu to display these uh, uh, Em emojis but uh, I thought I'll probably try something simple so I think it works really nice for me and uh, going back to the file going back to the uh, to, 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 to the uh, to, to the shell script except root dot sh which is running continuously if you look the main if you look here the main thing which is uh, setting the the status is the except root command and for those who don't know if you type in your terminal except root and uh, and if you want to just play with it you can you can simply type except root hyphen name and uh, you can type whatever you want like this is a demo and now you have on top right corner this is a demo it is of course uh, getting displayed it will go away in just uh, 50 seconds because I have a script which is running and talking about the weather for example if you want to display maybe may, maybe a weather and for, for weather what I do what I use which is I, I think a very 
convenient. I use uh, weather.in, like not weather.in, but WTTR.in site, which is amazing, by the way. So if you do something like, uh, uh, maybe you can, I'll just start by typing curl. So you can do hash, uh, WWTR.in. It will give you the weather at your uh, location. Like right now it is uh, showing me the weather, which is uh, uh, based on the, I believe the IP address. So this is really nice. And uh, uh, this is of course, uh, from your terminal. It is WTTR.in is a console oriented service, but you can also pass things to it. For example, if you want uh, the weather to be displayed for a specific location, so you can maybe pass in here, um, maybe I'll just clear it. So you can type uh, slash if you live uh, maybe um, maybe in Slough because I live in Slough which is uh, near uh, Heathrow or Windsor so you can check the weather right now which is uh, right now I believe uh, um, I, I guess it is uh, uh, so I'm looking at 31st of May and it will it will show you the weather which is uh, for this particular location and I'm not really sure if it is uh, uh, if, if it is uh, the right location yeah it is the right location so yeah I'm looking at Slough which is uh, southeast of uh, uh, England and uh, you can also do a few things like uh, instead of uh, just typing in the location if you have if, if you are not very really sure about the location because sometimes you have the same location in uh, multiple countries and uh, for me it was always the I, I believe th the preference is given to you to to you to us but uh, it is okay so if you are trying to specify a location which is in um, um, uk you can do that for example if i type in here maybe uh, maybe windsor and uh, windsor is a, a place uh, right ne right next to slaw so it will show you the location which is uh, in canada but that is not what i want i want uh, the location to be uh, in uh, uk so you can do something like UK, uh, like comma UK, and uh, I personally prefer using uh, these double quotes. So it is nice, and you can easily manage it. So now it is fine. Now it, I think uh, the weather will show you uh, for the location, which is uh, in uh, which is in your uh, country. And this is not it because I am I'm, I'm of course looking at this table. I don't really want to look at the table. I just want to. Uh, a format that I can uh, straight away use. So I, ju I just need the temperature, for example. So what you can do is you can uh, pass in some additional arguments like uh, format is equal to maybe one. Now you will get uh, the temperature, which is, uh, so you can see here that this icon along with the uh, plus 10 degree. And uh, this is what I am trying to also display on top. If you do something like two, you will, you will get some additional uh, additional uh, information about the about the wind speed about the wind uh, speed and the direction and right now of course there are some uh, fonts which are missing i tried installing fonts but uh, the moment you have those fonts installed and if you don't patch your uh, dwm your or, or maybe your uh, st terminal I, I believe you have to patch your dwm it will crash and i still need to figure it out how to fix it but what i'm doing is i am basically uh, using, uh, I'm basically using this uh, cut. So basically, if you type in here, uh, let us say format, and what we can do is we can actually pass this to another nice utility called cut, and you can delimit it based on the uh, based on the delimiter. Like right now, the delimiter is a space, and we want the second item. So we can do something like hyphen F2, and uh, you can actually remove it remove the process uh, I mean the uh, the information about the transfer by using hyphen s in your curl now once you do this you can then of course echo this if you want or maybe you can uh, use a variable let us use a variable so weather is equal to dollar and uh, if you do this you will not really get any output but uh, if I now echo weather I should be able to see plus 10 degrees and now you can use this information in your uh, in your exit route if you want now you can do exit exit uh, root hyphen name and uh, now you can pass in here uh, 
your uh, variable name if you want to like you can simply pass in weather <coughs> and uh, this is of course going to set 10 if you can see on top plus 10 degrees you can of course uh, use some other things like uh, maybe maybe you, you can use date or whatever you want like if you want to add some delimiters like uh, right now if you look at my script i'm using a uh, delimiter which is a uh, pipe it is of course a very simple way of doing it some people i mean if you search online you will find people using a uh, different scripts for uh, the current song and the memory usage and then uh, brightness and then and then of course they are uh, using one more script to consolidate consolidate everything and uh, they are also using uh, uh, there i mean in the script you can also decide somewhere on top like what del what delimiter you want but i was looking for something extremely simple and i think just having one script like set root dot sh it can be i believe any script that you can uh, say whatever where you, you where, wherever you want and you can then call it in your uh, xinit rc file and uh, and that is it i think uh, and i think i'll probably show you the let me also show you my xinit rc file because I think uh, if you are looking at your, uh, if you're looking for a way to uh, to run this in a loop, <coughs> you can use this uh, while loop here. So this will this this script will continue to run. Like if you notice on top, the status bar is now back to the information that I wanted to display, <coughs> and uh, uh, this is of course going to ref like going to work after every. I mean the this the script will update the status bar every minute uh, but some people also want maybe the weather to update after every maybe uh, half an hour not really every minute you can also do that but uh, i think it is the most simplest way of achieving your own custom status bar uh, modifications that you want to do if you want to display something information some something informative on top like for, for me i think uh, i don't really want to know the network speed because i mean uh, what exactly will I do with the network speed because I know my my connection is fine but I guess I will uh, maybe uh, because sometimes you, if you're uploading a YouTube video you may want to display it but I'm not massively concerned about the the network I'm more uh, I'm more concerned about the memory usage and uh, maybe the volume and the weather along with of course time I think time is uh, definitely important and also the weather I guess because uh, uh, because weather is always changing at least here in uh, uk you want to know what is the weather right now and uh, <clears throat> if, if i if i if i want i can also use weather.in to uh, find the weather immediately by uh, maybe using my own shell script but i have not really achieved that i'm still trying to find the best way like to, to achieve it i was watching the video from bugs writer and he actually uh, he, he wrote one script to to do a web scraping of google and uh, finding the information using some terminal based command i'll probably do that i think that is a good idea but i'm actually looking for something which is uh, very fast and uh, i don't have to like type in or go to maybe my console manually maybe i'll i'll create a script that will just display whether or any information maybe in a terminal i don't really mind but i am I'm pro i'll probably configure it with a shortcut but for the timing i think uh, having this current weather on top and a few other additional things with these you know, nice icons i think it works really well for me so that is all i wanted to talk about and uh, show you in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much